What's going on guys? This is Kazi. Welcome back to another epic video. And no, this video is not sponsored, but I will be showing you three tools in DaVinci Resolve Studio that makes it worth purchasing. Okay. These are the tools used by professionals. And when you watch pro work versus say, if you don't think your work looks as professional, this is what you might be missing. Okay, so get super pumped about that. Ever wonder how to turn your SDR grade to HDR? In addition to that, this free webinar includes proper workflow to using Hollywood's most used film print emulation, custom techniques to stress testing your LUTs, future-proof LUTs for HDR and ASUS workflow, learn to balance your footage in seconds with printer lights, secrets to building an HDR ready note tree, prepping Dolby Vision trim for Netflix, pro tip when saving a power grade. I will end the session with an extended Q&A. These questions came from you guys. Click the link in the description to sign up for this free training. And guys, I have a super exciting news about the future of this channel. Um, I decided to bring on other creators that are kicking but when it comes to color grading, they got their own flair, their own ideas. And I feel like having them on this channel, on this platform, putting out content is just going to bring more value than what you guys already get here. So I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, but we will just double the production or maybe triple or quadruple it. So I'm super pumped about that. If you guys are excited, show your support, drop a comment below. Let me know if you guys have any specific ideas about videos since now there's going to be multiple people creating content. We can really attack tons of stuff all at once. And that said, if you're enjoying the content, you know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel for more awesomeness. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and let's roll the intro. All right, guys, as always, let's get this party started. And we're here to see three tools that makes DaVinci Resolve Studio version worth purchasing, okay? So we have a CST applied downstream. If you're confused to like, why am I not using that all the way up front? You can watch my free training. Link is in the description. You will learn everything that you need to know about HDR, ready, no tree, and uh, all that good stuff. So anyways, this is what we got going on. I got it converted from C-Log2 to Rec709. Now let's start with our first tool, um, which we're gonna call Glow. And I'm gonna go in here, type in Glow and drop it on. And uh, so when you look at this image, right? And you look at the scopes, you're like, dude, why don't you do some contrast, some lift cam again to get the image where uh, it needs to be. But what you're about to find out is that the power of Glow is unreal okay so watch this i'm gonna go first of all under my composite mode and i'm gonna change it to soft light that's how i like to work now that we did that all i'm gonna do is go under my shine threshold and i'm gonna start pulling it back and just look what's happening to the image look how beautiful it's reacting to all the lights that are available in our space and if i do before and after i mean just look at the roll-offs up top and at the bottom and say if we want to go for a little bit of like an aggressive look, what I can do is I can go under my spread and I can start pulling it back. And when I pull it back, look what I'm doing. So I'm creating this really crazy pushed look, but not pushed to the point of like, it looks bad. It's a really, really cool look. So if I park it somewhere around here and I do before and after, can you believe that we created this cinematic gorgeous look nothing is blowing out look at our highlights right here everything is preserved just by using a couple of sliders in our glow tool okay so that is i'm telling you th this is one of the best tools in davinci resolve third-party plugins don't even come close so that's our first one okay the second one is i'm going to punch in and show you this so there's a lot of noise. I know you're watching it on YouTube, so it's going to mush some of this and it's going to be hard to see, but that's why I'm punching in a lot. So you guys should be able to see some of that. So you see all of that. So we got tons of noise. It's not necessarily grain. It's dirty noise that sits in our RGB channels. So it's a chromatic noise. Okay. So we need to take that out. And for that, Resolve has this tool under motion effects. We have noise reduction controls. All I'm going to do here is I'm gonna say, hey, sample the noise 
between three frames, okay? And then I'm gonna say, take my motion type and make it better. So change it from faster to better. So that's gonna be a little bit taxing on your system, but the results are gonna be way more realistic. And then I'm gonna say, uh, let's do something where we can at least see his part of his face so we can make sure that we're not really mushing his face too much, turning it into like plastic. And now I'm gonna go under my Luma threshold and push it a lot first, and then obviously pull it back because that's too much. So I'm gonna keep it somewhere around 25, 26 ish. And if I do before and after, we're not losing major detail and yet we're removing a lot of the noise. Like look at this to that. We're removing a lot of noise. We're not done yet. I'm gonna go under my uh, spatial threshold. I'm gonna take my chroma threshold. I basically just break that link. So now I can individually move that around. And all I want is to affect the chroma uh, and I want to take the noise out of the RGB channel, okay? Look at the results. Look at how clean this is. And now if I pull back and I do before and after, obviously you won't be able to see in um, on YouTube with their compression, but I'm telling you, if you look at, usually there's a lot of noise in the red channel. So this is before, this is after. I mean, come on, look at it. So I'm going to do it again. Before, after, we cleaned it up so well. So now that we've done that, let's just call it NR, which is for noise reduction, short for noise reduction. Now that we did that, now we're gonna do something counter to that, which will be adding grain. So you might go, dude, you just cleaned up the image and now you're gonna dirty it up with grain. That is completely different, okay? Noise sits in your RGB channels and it's mushy and it's gunky and it just makes your image look unprofessional and uh, low quality, whereas grain is that texture that film quality that we see and uh, we try to replicate, okay? So there's a massive difference because it's happening on a monochromatic level, okay? So what I wanna do now is I wanna go in there, I wanna change the film preset to 35 millimeter 400T. And let's see, do we wanna do anything crazy? So we can just leave it here. Um, or you know what, let's get a little crazy. So I'm gonna go to 35 millimeter reversal. It's like really pushed. And once again, I'm doing a lot of that exaggerative uh, moves because I want you to feel and see it on YouTube, okay? And now what I wanna do is I wanna go under my advanced controls and I wanna take my midtones and I wanna crank it and you'll see what happens, okay? So look how thick it's getting. So we're adding a lot of character into our grain. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add the strength a little bit more and then make the grain size just a little bit bigger, not too much. So if I do before and after, it looks kind of crazy, right? Because I'm like 800% punched in. But if I pull out and look at it from here, it kind of looks cool. Now, if the grain size was too much, what we can do is uh, uh, we can go back and we can just kind of reduce the grain size, uh, but we can still take the grain strength and crank it, right? So if I do before and after, like, yes, it looks a lot cleaner and pristine. If you're creating a commercial and you're going for that clean look, go for it. But a lot of the times, if it's an Adidas commercial or you're showing something like gritty and, you know, artsy and raw, you would want to add a lot of grain. You will be asked to add a lot of grain, okay? I'm just telling you that based on my experience. And if I play it back, you will see the rich character that the grain brings to our entire image. Just look at that. Like all of a sudden it feels like it was shot on film. It looks gorgeous, guys. And if I click here and just give it a label and uh, we park on our hero frame, which is at two second mark, I'm gonna take all these three and kill it. So first tool that you get with the paid version of Resolve is Glow and I showed you how to use it. There's so many different ways to use it. That's just one way that we went about it. Then we went and took out the grain and if I show you before, Look at that, and after, made all the difference in the world, and then we did a counter act to that where we added grain to just add tons of texture to our image, and we ended up with this. Let's check out the final look in full screen. So if we do a quick price breakdown, to get really good quality grain, you're gonna be paying around $300. And then when it comes to noise reduction, Neat is the king of all third-party tools that are available to us. It's gonna cost you somewhere around $100.
that sets you a little over 300 bucks, whereas Resolve is only $295. And with their current summer deals, you can get their speed editor thrown in there for free. So it's a no brainer. Check it out. And like I said, this video is not sponsored by DaVinci Resolve. And guys, do not forget to watch the free training if you really want to learn how to build a node tree that is future proof, that is HDR ready. Link is down below. The training is absolutely free. And guys, if you're enjoying the content, you know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel for more awesomeness, and I will see you guys in the next video.